Hello, hello, welcome back to Suffolk and Norfolk Fishing. And uh, today, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, we are on the final stage of fitting the new boat floor. And to do so, we, I, am going to be applying a flow coat, which is a, a thick, waxy paint that you, you mix up with a hardener, to, to the fiberglass of the deck. So, so far, I've cut out all of the rot, and I've replaced the all of the rotten wood with some marine ply. I've sealed that with the fiberglass resin and then I've put fiberglass matting and resin over the top of it. Um, actually, to be honest, it's been really simple. Um, there's been nothing really tricky about the whole process um, other than just finding the time to get it done really. So, Last layer of fiberglass was laid about 10 days ago and obviously the fiberglass has a waxy layer that, uh, that sort of makes its way to the surface of the resin after it cures. So the first thing before I do anything with the flow coat, I'm going to need to just run a bit of 40 grit sandpaper over the top of the whole thing, just rough it up a little bit. Well, not rough it up a little bit, actually, just take off that waxy layer. I'm not going to be too precious about collecting um, all the bits and bobs up though. I'm just going to give it a quick dust down and a very quick hoover, just because the wax that comes off the fiberglass will mix in with the flow coat and uh, that's got its own wax in there anyway, which is part of its, um, how it, how obviously it's waterproof with the wax in. I had a little test with the flow coat last night um, just to make sure, you know, just to let myself, just to kill some time, let myself uh, know what I was in for today. Um, and I did this a bit of test fiberglassing on this in, in my second video. And I applied that flow coat with a spatula. And if I've applied that with a spatula, then I think you'll get a really good finish with a roller um, afterwards. And actually, I didn't sand that bit down first, and it's taken really well. I've just gone off overnight. So I'm really looking forward to using this product. Um, should be good. Um, so yeah, I'll just sand it down, dust it off, roll it on, and uh, and let it go off. And then fingers crossed, it'll all be done. I mean, that is fingers crossed, though, isn't it? <laughs> One of the issues I did used to have was obviously here was a buoyancy tank and I've built in, water used to pull here, and I've, I've built that with resin and fiberglass, so that hopefully won't pull water anymore, rainwater and whatnot, and then this will channel the water into the, into the bilge, and I've done the same on, on that side there, slightly different design but same principle, because um, that's a flat locker there. Um, but hopefully that will then channel it down into the bilge. Um, but really, these these are, I mean, there's only a couple of coats of fiberglass matting on there and they're incredibly strong, so. Just one of the little modifications I've made, but just, um, just sanded the whole lot, taping up the bits that need taping just to smart out a little bit, and then it's gonna be to the shed to mix up some flow coat. So the next bit is where we're gonna mix up the flow coat and comes in a, comes in weight so it's five kilos of flow coat hoping that's gonna do the whole whole lot I'm gonna mix it up in a, in a measuring cylinder we're gonna do half a half a litre um, between two and four percent so what we're looking at sort of 10 15 20 mil something like that for, for half a litre of flow coat it comes out really thick but the hardener once you've mixed it all in it goes quite runny um, so I'm just gonna mix it up here for you and then I'm gonna apply it with a fluffy roller stick some on rub a bit off and then in. So I'm going to put 500 mil in here. I've had this warming up in the sun as well because last night it got to about seven or eight degrees. So I've warmed it up in the sun. And there or thereabouts is my half. I'm not going crazy on accuracy for measurements um, just simply because I know that as long as I've got the hardener in there, it will go off on a day like today. and. I know that everything will be fine. So give a good mix up. You can still see some of the hardener sitting on the surface. But as you can see, it's starting to get. And as it mixes, obviously it's giving off that, that same styrene gas that the fiberglass gives up. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area make sure you're wearing the gas because the organic peroxide 
but is the hardener, is the nasty stuff. That's really not good for your skin. And uh, if it goes in your eyes or in your mouth, that is a quick trip to the hospital. Probably not with you driving. And someone in the driver's seat saying, I told you so. But that's life. Right, so I'd say that's, we'll give that a bit more when we're on the boat, um, but then I'm just gonna go and apply it. this incredibly easy stuff to work with this flow coat and a little goes a long way as you can see I've, I've used probably 750 mil just to do this bit here um, but what I'm finding is I can put it on loads thicker because you can still see the fiberglass coming through so what I'm doing I'm going over putting one coat on allowing it to dry whilst doing another bit and then I'm going to just absolutely cover it with the remainder so it will go smoother. Um, I've done a bit more of a covering here, so you can't actually see any gaps in the, uh, when I say gaps in the fiberglass, I'm talking about these little strain bits um, and the little tiny air holes, not air holes, are there's little gaps where I haven't got with the roller. So I can put it on loads thicker. So I'm gonna do one coat and let it, not dry, just go slightly tacky, give it five, 10 minutes, and then um, really lather it on. Um, there's a bit there that I've done two coats on and there's, there's no gaps. That's all, and here's a bit where I've done one coat, and you can see a few, few little holes there. Well, it's the morning after. It's had a bit of time to dry, and uh, got to tell you, Eddie the amateur strikes again. What a top job! Really happy with how that's turned out. Cured off nicely. Deck sorted. Now all I've got to do is cover it in fish, cover it in bait, get some water on the outside, and go and have some awesome times fishing. That's what it's all about. Really happy I've done with it, it's such an easy process. Bit time consuming, but really, really worth it. And very, very rewarding. Boat looks, boat looks awesome to be honest with you. Really happy. Right, I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.